Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Etsy Shares for this week. So all sorts of variety this week, so I'm excited to dig in. Um, this batch is from Sheena at For the Love of Paper Company. So the uh, numeral four, the L-U-V, of paper co i will have the link below in the description box as always so yes yeah, so she sent a wonderful pack of all sorts of goodies from her shop so let's take a look first of all number one is um she's got charm packs and um it's just a, a random sampling as she puts it so let's see if we can if i can show you here up close so there's keys and butterflies and bees and i think you know each little pack may be a little bit different but just random charms so we have that and let's see she's got seven charms in here Okay, let's get those back in there so I don't lose them. And then number two is collage tiles, she calls them, two per set. And aren't those adorable? Those are so cute. What a great idea. Little collage tiles. So she's um, backed them with something sturdy and put some... Um, scrapbook paper on there and then collaged on the front adorable so cute like on a pocket or a tag or something those are awesome and then third she's got a cardboard cluster Let's get that open oh isn't that pretty Again, a tag, a journal card, a pocket, any sort of thing like that. That's, that's so pretty. And she's collaged on it. She's put um, thread behind. Really pretty. So those, let's see. Number four. Number four slid off. Number four is collage pu uh, puzzle pieces. Two per set. And, you know, same uses for these in terms of decorating a pocket, a tag, or something. So she's just done little collages on puzzle pieces. Isn't that cute? So fun. Okay. Okay. And number five is... Is um, handmade paper flowers. Three per set. Most button centers are vintage. Yeah, you can tell that they're vintage. Look at how cute. There's that. Six is, this is six. This would be seven. Here we go. This is six. <laughs> I'm so glad you helped me out with the numbers, Sheena. I appreciate the help. So the, number six is a three-piece ephemera pack. So little kind of slide type of thing. We've got a big, huge ticket. And they're all collaged in her beautiful style. So that is the three-piece ephemera kit. Man, oh man, she's got treasures, guys. You better get over there. For the love of paper company. Okay, and she's also on YouTube and Instagram, so I'll I'll note that too. Uh, this one, number seven, is a mini journal with ephemera. So, see what this is. I love that washi tape. I'm going to use that, <laughs> reuse that. This little, oh, isn't that sweet? So, it's got a little bit of ephemera in here. She's got one of her cool big tickets. And then it's just a little notebook. And it's got a little sweet tag. Purpose. Oh, how cute is that? That's awesome. 
I love it. Love it. So mini journal with ephemera. I'm assuming she has the same titles on her items on Etsy as she has here in her note to me. Let's see, eight, five vintage bases. I really, the, the 12 days of Christmas is going through my head right now. <laughs> Five vintage bases. <laughs> so we've got a tag. We've got a library card. We have got a little receipt. All backed and sewn and everything. And then um, a dictionary page. Whew, that wasn't coming out very easily. And then a postcard. So... Five vintage bases, base ephemera kind of, for you to decorate as you will. Those are super fun. Love those. Okay. Uh, and this is a random selection of her handmade ephemera. And as you can tell from the earlier items, she's got an awesome style. I love it, Sheena. So we've got, how is that if I hold those right there? Pretty good. Okay, because I'm still sitting down. So this has texture paste on it, fabric, layered up. It's an old flash card. This one, so cute. This is a um, library card. Then we've got this little journal card. A tag and a guest check. Oh my gosh, those are so awesome. I love them. Love them. Really cool. Okay, so that's number nine. And then we have, what else do we have? We have a bingo board journal topper. Isn't that a great idea? Oopsie, I tore my, I tore my happy uh, washi tape here. Okay, I'll, I'll do it later. Okay. <laughs> so that can go on, this is just paper, but it can go on a, on a journal cover. How cute is that? I love it. Those little girls are so cute. That is awesome. Okay, and then a, then we've got a ephemera basics pack. Okay, so of course you could use the sack that it comes in. This one got a little crunch, but you know, I'm all for a little crunch. Um, oh my gosh, there's a little of everything in here, guys, like tags and index cards and um, coin envelopes index cards various kinds we've got your graph paper we've got the dots here's a um, library card little index folders oh this is great and a um, library pocket a bag a sack i don't know why i think there's something different between a bag and a sack but it's just how it came out um this little envelope a uh, flash card like she did in the ephemera pack. This is just a little piece of this piece of heavy card stock. It's, oh, it's a little journal card type thing. And then um, another like card base kind of thing. And big index cards, big file cards, window envelope, and one of these cool envelopes. That's an awesome pack. For those of you just starting, that's a great pack to just grab and decorate up, which is probably what I'll do with it. So um, that's that. And then she sent me a thank you. So I'm super excited to see what's in here. I'm going to try not to rip the paper because it's cool. Yay, I have a lot of those little strips of washi to use, don't I? Nothing, nothing goes to waste around here, that's for sure. There we go. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh, gosh, Sheena. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's a little journal. It's a fun little journal. The pages are naked, but look at how cute. Focus on the good. This is adorable. I love it. Lots of little fun things in the pockets. Look how she used a, um, a Rolodex card for these two pockets. Isn't that a great idea? Love it. Oh, thank you so much, Sheena. That was not necessary at all, but very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so that is For the Love of Paper Co. Or company. So, let's, let's just get it all in to gather it together here and put it over here. Okay, share number one. Okay, share number two is these wonderful digitals. Let me let me zero in a bit. Okay. Okay, so these are from Tink and I Treasures. Absolutely love her stuff. Maxine is her name. And so I will put her Etsy, and she also has Tink and I Treasures on YouTube. So I'll also link that down below. But um, I wanted to show you these I just recently came upon from Tink and I Treasure. So this one is called My Collection, I believe. And I can't, I, I should have cross-stacked them, I guess, but... But the, the, the three names of these digitals are my collection, and then there's a master board, too. So I think these are my collection. I'm not sure. You guys, you guys will be able to see. But I love working with these kind of collages because you can tear them up and re-collage them. <laughs> you know, it makes no sense to anyone but us, doesn't it? And then... Um, master board. So I, I'm not sure. I think maybe two of them are my collection and two of them are master board. But won't those be fun to collage with? Super excited. Yes. And then these are um, mixed media ready-made tags. And you know I love these colors together, the turquoise and the, the rusty look. I love that. So these are going to be really fun to play with, too. I'm excited to excited to play with those. Oh, I think th this one's Master Board. Okay, so these four are my collection. And these are this one is Master Board. Isn't that cool? And um, what day... Why did I do two? Just because I thought I'd use them, I think. But anyway, isn't that fun? So there you go. That is Tink and I Treasures. And um, just just love Maxine. She's a great lady. So uh, yeah. So anyway, um, oh, the other thing Maxine wanted me to maybe mention is... Um, as far as the like the physical items in her shop, they're really one of a kind. Like m like many of us, you know, she's she doesn't mass produce the same journals. So there's a good variety, and they're one of a kind pieces of art. So there you go. That is Tink and I treasures, and oh, I'm gonna have fun with those. Gonna have fun with those. Okay, let's see. I have another, well, I have several digitals, so sorry about this, but I'm going to move in and out a little bit. Okay, um, so I have to show you August, August Gale Wear is coming out on the 15th. Let's see, today's the 7th. But it's coming out on the 15th, and I just love it. It's so fun. So this is a patchwork from one of my one of my vintage feed sack quilts. So this is the pouch. Love the pouch. 
course, I have I have used, you guys see me dig into them all the time. I absolutely love these pouches. They're just great. So anyway, that's the pouch. This is the t-shirt. And it's just such happy colors. I just, I just, the, ha the colors make me really happy. I love Feed Sack though, you know. So this one, blue collar on the on the t-shirt, and then on the sweatshirt, I got a pink on the, you know, on the bands. So this is the sweatshirt. So fun. Isn't that such a happy, happy print? So uh, August 15th, those will be in my merch shop, which you can, there's a link in the description box below, but you can also access it, access it from my website, gailaugustinelli.com. So I'm going to keep those out. I might show them next Sunday too. Okay, then what? Let's do, let's do this batch. This, um, I think it was at my retreat that somebody told me about this shop. Pia Sara, Pia Sara Mio Papery. The link will be below. But she has wonderful um, Florentine paper. So uh, let's see. I got the 9 by 12s. These are, she's got several different items that you can choose from, but these are 9 by 12s. I just wanted to tell you how many pieces are in here. So I can, I think there's three. There's four pieces, four pieces in each, but aren't those so fun? They're going to be fun for collage too. I just kind of picked out a little variety. And then these are fun. She's got strips. So um, how fun is that? Oh, well, that was a good idea. <laughs> it was surprising, but it was a good idea. So let's see what she's got here. So just, she's got strips of, of, her, of a variety of her um, Florentine paper. So I thought that was really fun. And, and then this strip. So these, you could almost use these like washi. I think actually I will probably put them in my washi. So pretty much the same. There's a couple different ones. But yeah. So anyway, I'm not sure how you say it, but... Pia Sara Mio Papery, something like that. So uh, just wanted to introduce that new shop that was introduced to me. And then, yeah, so when you go over, she doesn't know I'm sharing her stuff. So um, tell her that I sent you over. And, um, and then maybe she'll keep us apprised of any new items she gets in her shop or something. So, yes, there we go. That one. Now, let's see. Okay, this one is Sandra at Texas Crafts. T-E-X-A-Z Crafts. And um, so three offerings she has on Etsy. So let's see what she what she sent along here. Is this a nope? I thought that might be a note too. Um oh cute. So she's got the bumblebee cannot fly. It's a little glass bumblebee. So cute. That's so cute. I gotta, I'm gonna have to set that up as a little decoration. That's so cute. And then let's see. Oh, so I think, hang on. Okay, I think this is my little, she said I'm including a small package of stuff for you. And then she sent a bee stamp and some lovely, lovely 
um, uh, doilies, embroidered doilies. And oh my goodness, and what do, what is this? Oh my goodness, serving Helena and Montana, 1898 anniversary till 1973, 75th year. Oh, Union Bank and Trust Company. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's such a treasure. Thank you so much, Sandra. Wow, that's really cool. Yep, Union Bank and Trust, right on the corner of 6th and Main. <laughs> and it's it's been gone for a long time. I mean, it's been, I, it's still a bank, but it's named something different. Um. Thank you. So that was my little goodie bag. Now let's get to what she sent from her shop. Let's see here. Let me zero in again because we've got digis. Okay. Okay. Collage art set. These are scans of master boards that I made with family memorabilia. The forms are my own designs from uh, from my previous career. The newspapers are pre-1945 with one small exception. The letters and postcards uh, are from family memorabilia. Oh, isn't that fun? That'd be fun to back something with. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't you just love the handwriting? That looks like my grandma's handwriting. Dear Mama, Daddy. <laughs> so cool. Ooh, this is a fun um, kind of uh, gessoed one. Oh, these are great, Sandra. I love these. They're going to be really fun to play with. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Yes, those are gonna be really fun to play with. Okay, so that's the collage art set one is what that one's called. Okay, and then this one is faux postcards and labels. These are postcards I made with companion faux stamps labels, which I also made the pictures to be used alone or with the postcard are copyright free, which I downloaded, she says. So all sorts of postcard backs. And then you could put them with these, with these photos if you wanted or use these on your own somewhere. Cool. Those are awesome. I like the little ones. That's a great idea. And here's the postage stamps. Those fun. And labels. And then a smaller version. Cool. Faux postcard stamps and labels. It's that one. And then this one, Vintage Tablecloth Flowers. Hmm, that kind of reminds Oh, she says, I saw you. I was going to say it kind of reminds me of my, my digi. She says, I saw your Vintage Tablecloth Digital and realized they were the same era and style as mine. They, um, they were her grandmother's. I thought the cutout flowers would make a nice accessory for your digital. Oh, that's very sweet. Aren't those cool? I just love old tablecloths. Oh yeah, so fun. Oh yes, they would be great with my tablecloth digitals. Awesome, thank you, Sandra. That's really cool that you did that. So, okay, so Texas Crafts, be linked below. But, um, yeah, so very fun digitals from her. So let's just get stuff back where it belongs so I don't 
doesn't mess up who's this who let's do another digital while i have the while i have the camera down okay so look at these these are a digital from dash of dave and Dave has his Etsy, but he also has his, his YouTube. So I'll link that below too. Scrafito. Scrafito. <laughs> I knew I was going to struggle. I told you, Dave, I was going to struggle with the name. But you guys, these are gorgeous. You might remember when I was doing the waxing of paper, I did some of his digitals on... Um, vellum and then waxed them so fun but let me just flip through these because they are i did this one i think on the with beeswax but they are such gorgeous colors just just vibrant and happy this is the one that i did but i i absolutely love them i think as you're, as you're collaging a piece or something, a pop of color, they'd be an awesome art journal. I mean, it's like your backgrounds are already there. Yeah, they're, they're just really, really beautiful. Well done, Dave, my friend. Well done. He's got great digitals over there, you guys. I, I just picked this one up this week and wanted to share the whole thing with you not just the not just the couple pages that I this is the other page that I did on vellum and it was gorgeous even without the wax it was gorgeous look at that does that just not make your soul happy it's just so beautiful <clears throat> I just love them. Love them, Dave. Gonna have so much fun playing with these. So, and and look at all of them you get in one kit, too. It's kind of amazing. So, there you go. So, that's Scraffiti. Scraffrito. <laughs> Scraffito. Okay, from Dash of Dave. Okay, now we have, let's see, we have this package, and I'm excited to dig into that, but let me talk about a couple things first. I have, I have a few emails and such. Okay, so uh, for one thing, I wanted to once again introduce my friend Diane under the Big Sky Design on Etsy. She has added, we had a little, a uh, little get together and, um, you know, she's got gorgeous quilts and table runners and she makes quilted, uh, postcards that are amazing, but she wanted to, uh, sort of, uh, honor, uh, our junk journal world. And so she said, you know, Gail, I have so many scraps and you guys have seen me share her scraps before. They are amazing scraps of fabric and so she's made fabric bundles she's also made journal cover kits so you get the um you get the two pieces of fabric you can decide which is the which is the outside which is the inside and then you get a um right sized piece of batting so uh journal cover kits for you to put together and it's like i told her i said diane we don't necessarily have all these awesome fabrics that you find because she she goes to quilt stores everywhere she goes and so she's got a great repertoire of fabric so anyway i just wanted to tell you that she added journal cover kits and fabric uh scrap bundles to her shop under the big sky design so that's diane um then let's see okay this is for this one okay and then home book and treasure has 70 percent off her uh digitals for august 
So I, um, she also has the winners, the winners video on her YouTube channel for a free digital contest. So you can go over there and check that out. Okay. So that's home book and treasure. And then this was a note I got from, um, Anna, she is Paper Baker Creations for fabric dyed paper and such, and then Blooming Heather Designs for digitals. So let's see what she is up to. First, we'll, first we'll do, let's do the digitals first. Are we zeroed in or not? I can't remember. Yeah, we are. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's see what she has here. So Blooming Heather Designs is where the digitals come from. And this one is, is um, the Rose Chic Digital. Okay. Let's see. What we... Okay, the Rose... The Rose Chic Digital Collection is split up in six listings. Rose Pattern, pa uh, Rose Pattern Pages, Rose Journaling Pages, Background Patterns, Solid and Script Backgrounds, Tags and Envelopes. So let's take a look. Am I... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the uh, Rose Pattern Pages. And the backs of these are solid and script backgrounds. Ooh, isn't that lovely? That one's kind of tea dyed. Oh, these are beautiful, Anna. Look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely. So that one, fronts, rose pattern pages, back, solid and script backgrounds, front and back background patterns. Oh, it's so pretty. This one, front and back rose journaling pages. So pretty. Rosy chic tags. Oh, and she, she put those on card stock. That's awesome. Those would be fun to layer up. You know, um, with like one tag, like that tag on here, and then this tag or something. Put them in a layer of three, but you have all three sizes to work with, so that's awesome. And then rosy chic envelopes. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and then she, she printed on the back too. So then the inside of your envelope is beautiful as well. Isn't that pretty? And then a bit smaller envelopes. And that is it. So that is, that is the um, Rosie Chic, the Rosie Chic Digital Collection. Awesome. That's so pretty. Thank you, Anna. So that's over at Blooming Heather Design. That's that one. And then Paper Baker Creations is where she does her dyed papers, which I absolutely adore, her dyed papers. So um, she's, let's see, these are the last colors she's going to make, she says. And... She'll be adding some more packs put together with leftover papers. But look at that beautiful lavender. And then this one is a fall pack. Um, love them. Yes. 
also reds, orange, yellow, and green. Aren't those beautiful? So, yes, her dyed paper. Um, let's see. She says there's also a gift for you in the package wrapped in some fabric. It's not anything we're selling in the shop. It's just a gift from Mom and I to say thank you for what you've done. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Anna. And thank your mom, please. Yeah, so apparently this is just a little, a little thank you. I love the fabric. Isn't that gorgeous fabric? Oh, what do we have? Oh, my goodness. So these let's check it out check it out some beautiful pieces on embossed on embossed paper so some tags with embossed paper and some journal cards with embossed paper oh love those these are tim holtz love that i think these might be too oh gosh thank you and oh my goodness oh Oh, so it's Anna and Anne. I didn't know her mom's name. Oh, oh. Well, you two just make me cry a little bit. Oh, Anna and Anne, Paper Baker Creations and Blooming Heather Designs. Oh my gosh. So this is like a big old um, ephemera folio. Two signatures. Wow. This is awesome, and they're little, they're little short pockets, but spaced apart, so you can, oh, that's just lovely. Look at that beautiful binding. That reminds me of my friend Deb. I have the beautiful, beautiful bindings, and I have no idea how to do any of them, but there are classes online, someday maybe. <laughs> So, oh, thank you, Anna and Anne. I so appreciate it. Bless your hearts. So, yeah, again, Paper Baker Creations and Blooming Heather Designs. And um, so I think it looks to be that that is it for this Etsy share. And I just thank you so very much for supporting these shops. You know, it's it's women, help, women helping women. And that is a really cool thing. And guys, few guys, there's a few guys, Dash Dave. So, uh, you know, the help that we give to these little shops, it makes a difference in people's lives. And I um, am so grateful to be a part of it. So thanks, everybody. Have an awesome Sunday and a grateful day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.